upcoming. I've used actually for pretty much since I streamed on the beginning on Twitch. Um, this program is really cool, so you can download it right away. It's always it's, it's for free. Oh hey guys, there you are. What's up guys? My name is Alex. Welcome to a new video. I just I decided to you know, just start this video a little different because I just reached 9,500 subscribers today. I'm gonna show you guys a screenshot right now. And as you can see, it's fucking amazing. Thank you for the continuous support. I wouldn't be doing this without you guys. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to add a music player to your stream. So let's say you are streaming on Twitch and you have some background music and people are asking in the chat, yo, what song is playing? What song is playing? You can just, you know, write everything on the screen and show your viewers what song is playing. So we're gonna just install a really simple program, which is called Snip. You can use different programs such as Winamp, iTunes, that's what we're going to discuss in today's tutorial, so I would say let's get started. Alright guys, so basically, we're in OBS as you can see, and I'm going to recommend you to use uh, Winamp, that works the easiest. So basically, Winamp is actually a free multimedia player, you can make playlists and stuff, you can add, you know, all your music in, it's really easy, you can just control everything, it's, it's the best program, that's what I use actually for pretty much since I streamed on the beginning of, on Twitch. Um, this program is really cool, so you can download it right away, it's always, it's, it's for free, and uh, here you're going to put your music. So let's say we have this song, which is called Disfigure. Boom, that's our song. And we want to pop up, you know, that in your stream on your screen. So we're just gonna make, go to OBS. You just want to use your stream scene because we're gonna add that in. So what you want to do is, so I'm just gonna preview stream. And the first thing you want to do is to download Snip. I'll leave a link on the screen and also in the description where you can get it, which is this website. And you just want to click on this one, which says you can download Snip from, and then you want to click on this. It brings you to this page and then you want to click on on this one that's the latest one you want to open it uh i'm just gonna do it like this open extract this file to somewhere where you want to. i'm just gonna extract it on the desktop and then what you want to do is you want to open up that folder this is what you see when you open the folder and what you want to do is you just want to run snip and it appears on your taskbar what you want to do is right click on it and you can use spotify itunes winamp vlc player but i would yet recommend using winamp boom now this is set on Winamp, so when you go back to OBS, let's say you want to have this on. So in order to make this appear on your screen, uh, you just want to go to sources, you want to right click, you want to add, and you want to add a text file. You want to call this music, boom. And you don't want to type any text, but you want to use a t use text from file. Then what you want to do is you're going to go to browse, go to the snip folder, and you want to pick this txt file, boom. And that is going to say which song is playing. So let's say we're going to have this in an Arial. The color is going to be white and the background color is going to be black. Let's see how we, what it looks right now. Boom. I just added this background so you guys can see how it looks. So basically, here is your music. And what you want to do is you want to play back the song. And as you can see in the corner, it starts to appear. Check this out. Of course, you can, you know, put it on different places. So there you can, you have your song anywhere else. And if you want to make it scrolling, if you want to have it like on a black background, you can also do that in the menu. What you want to do is double click on it. You can customize it. You want to have like an outline. You can do that. You can just, you know, the thickness, you want to bring that up as you can see. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm just going to make this, I don't know, 80. That's a bit bigger. You can also make it, you know, scroll, scroll speed. If you want to bring that up, as you can see, the text starts to scroll. That's really cool. If you want to have like a black background uh, like behind it, you can also use background opacity. You want to bring that up. And as you can see, there's starting to be a black background. You can put this one in the corner of your stream like this. Boom. And then it scrolls. That's basically how simple it is. As you can see, I can change fonts. If you look at it, boom, 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 boom. All different fonts. You can also change the size, of course. You can make it bold, italic, underline, 
whatever you want and of course opacity is scroll speed you can put it, put it up and down and the thickness of the outline it's it's really good and basically that's how similar it is that's how you add in your music player so let's see how it looks when we change songs look at it it's just the title just changes That's how similar it is guys, it's really easy and really cool. That's basically how similar it is guys. So it's really easy guys, you just want to download it and um, just customize it. Basically that's how simple it is and you also, you always want to have Snip open if Winamp is running of course. If you liked this video and this video was helpful to you, make sure to smash that like button down below. Subscribe for more content coming every single day. Thank you guys for the continued support, I wouldn't be doing this without you guys. I will catch you guys tomorrow for a Vegas tutorial, so thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna give you guys six tips for beginner drivers. My name's LDHH Official. As yeah. always. Yeah. And I upload one video every day of the week, except on Saturday and Sunday. I'm just gonna start streaming live. First question for today. So that's gonna be through this hall, it's gonna be pretty dark. So we have the door. Future your comment or your question. I'll see you guys in the next video.